Now the next set of properties is about identities of addition and subtraction. The first point, first property, that will be uh, sine inverse x plus sine inverse y. Sine inverse x plus sine inverse y. What is that equals to? It is equals to sine inverse of x into root of 1 minus y square. We are going to prove this in this one. So just keep listening. 1 minus x square. And here x is greater than or equals to 0. Y is also greater than or equals to 0. But x square plus y square is less than or equals to 1. It's also equals to, uh, I'm sorry, pi minus sine inverse. x root 1 minus y square plus y root 1 minus x square which is when x is greater than 0 equals to 0 uh, y is greater than equals to 0 but x square plus y square is greater than 1 this is different here okay because of these two properties we are going to land with these two okay now how we are going to prove this we are not going to prove this one, we are going to prove the next one, which is about cos inverse and cos x. Uh, the second one, because it involves one case only, so that's why. Cos inverse x, it will be easy to remember. Cos inverse y, that will be equals to cos inverse e everywhere, cos inverse xy minus root of 1 minus x square, root of 1 minus y square. Okay, they are not going to uh, ask you the proof in exams, but if you you know you forget then you can do this okay proof let's just take um this as x okay and uh, this is theta and this is beta okay now let's take cos inverse x as theta so this will give you cos theta is x fine now cos inverse y as beta that will give you cos of beta is y fine or you can take the beta in another triangle it doesn't matter now x y will be what cos theta cos beta okay cos of theta plus beta that will be we know that from trigonometry cos theta cos beta minus sin theta sin beta sin theta will be what root of 1 minus cos square theta cos theta is x and so this is 1 minus x square sin beta will be root of 1 minus cos square beta cos beta is what y we will put it here so root of 1 minus y square this term has come this term has come these are x into y so that's why theta plus beta will be cos inverse this thing which is this thing, cos inverse of this thing, theta plus beta is what? Theta is cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. Okay, so we have got the relation in between them. That cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is cos inverse x y minus root of 1 minus x square, root of 1 minus y square. What do we start with? Cos inverse x and cos inverse y. We take the different angles and then we prove this. You can take this beta in another triangle also. Okay, this is beta and now you can do this. Okay, and this is up to you. To remember the property now we'll move on to the third third one in this case third is about 10 inverse that is 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y that is equals to 10 inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y okay the pro uh, the constants are x is greater than 0 of course y is greater than 0 and x y is less than 1 okay these three are the constant here now Second one will be pi plus 10 inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Okay. Which, which will be when xy is greater than 1. These two properties will be same. Third one is pi by 2 if xy is equals to 1. Okay. This is equals to 1. Is equals to 1. And the remaining properties will be same. X is greater than 0 and Y is greater than 0. Now, how does this come? You remember the property 10 theta plus 10 alpha? That is equals to 10 of theta plus alpha 1 minus theta alpha. It's just like this. Okay. 
instead of this we are having 10 inverse here okay and of course the uh, boundary this condition is on theta alpha you can remember that pi plus theta pi plus pi by 2 or th just theta okay this pi by 2 pi plus theta or this theta okay x y is less than 1 then theta x y is greater than 1 then pi plus theta and x y is equals to 1 then pi by 2 if of course if x y is equals to 1 then this thing will become 0 and 10 inverse of 1 by 0 that is 10 inverse of infinity that is pi by 2 or 10 inverse of not defined is pi by 2 now we'll move on to next set of properties that involves the negative the negative signs okay fourth set of property first one is sin inverse x minus sin inverse y up to up till here we did sin inverse x plus sin inverse y now what is sin inverse x minus sin inverse y that will be sin inverse x root 1 minus y square minus y root 1 minus x square now this can be also remembered sin theta minus sin alpha what is that sin theta minus sin alpha is uh, well sin theta minus not sin theta minus sin alpha but of course sin sin c sin c plus sin d the sin of c plus d by 2 sin c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2 you can do it like that also but to remember this property okay now sin of uh, sin of theta minus alpha actually okay sin of theta minus alpha is what sin theta cos alpha minus cos theta sin alpha sin theta cos alpha will be something cos alpha will be something root of 1 minus square will be cos alpha sin theta will be x cos theta will be root of 1 minus x square and sin alpha will be y that's 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 the way this properties are uh, you know defined you have to just remember the range x is greater than equals to 0 and y is also greater than equals to 0 okay and of course they are less than 1 because that that is the domain for sin inverse and sin inverse y second cos inverse x minus cos inverse y that is cos inverse x y plus root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus y square okay now it's again also it's also like cos of theta minus alpha that is equals to cos theta cos alpha plus sin theta sin alpha okay cos theta cos alpha x x and y sin theta sin alpha sin uh, the one root of 1 minus x square and root of 1 minus y square okay third set of property again this is x is greater than equals to 0 y is greater than equals to 0 and x is less than equals to y third set of property third uh, property in this set is about 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y that will be equals to 10 inverse x minus y upon 1 plus x y you got to remember that there are three cases in 10 in plus sign when you do the 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y but in case 10 in case of minus all the three sign in cos and 10 they have only one case okay now in this case x is greater than equals greater than equals to 0 and y is greater than equals to 0 okay this is the case now I'll move on to another property you can take one example let's take 10 inverse uh, 2 minus 10 inverse uh, let's say um, 1 okay 10 inverse 2 minus 10 inverse 1 that will be 10 inverse 2 minus 1 that is 1 1 plus 2 that is equals to 10 inverse 1 by 3 okay so this is the answer 10 inverse 1 by 3 okay this is the answer fine so this is how you do the calculation part now we'll move on to the two angles sine of 2 sine of cos of 2 okay the third property first in this case is sine inverse of 2x root of 1 minus x square that is equals to now this includes this also includes three cases because x is dependent here sine inverse the domain should be 1 between minus 1 and 1 so 2x root of 1 minus x square is between minus 1 and 1 and then you divide it by 2 and then you do the all the squaring part and all that so you reach finally in 1 by root 2 so there are three cases if x is mod x is less than 1 by root 2 if x is greater than 1 by root 2 
and if x is less than minus 1 by root 2. Okay, this covers the whole real number line. First one will be simple 2 sin inverse x. Okay, you can imagine this as theta. So, this is sin or this whole as theta. So, sin theta is 2x root of 1 minus x square. Okay, or you can imagine it as 2 theta. What, did, what does it say to you? Sin of 2x. Okay, so 2 sin inverse x, 2 theta. Sin inverse of that will be 2 theta. Okay, where sin, x, sin theta is x. Okay, 2 sin theta cos theta. We know the property that sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. Now, if I take sin theta as x, cos theta will be root of 1 minus x square. Because sin theta is, cos theta is root of 1 minus sin square theta. That's why this will be there. And 2 is there. So, sin of 2 theta. Okay, this has come. So, that will, this will be 2 theta. Theta is what? Sin, the, sin theta is x. So, theta is sin inverse x. So, that's why 2 sin inverse x. But, if x is greater than 1 by root 2, then this term will give you a negative sign. So, that's why pi minus 2 sin inverse x. We make the angle positive. We make the angle in first quadrant. That's why we do pi minus 2 sin inverse x. But sometimes the angle is so negative that you have to do minus pi plus 2 sin inverse x. Okay? This term is always common, 2 sin inverse x. You have to just apply a pi minus that or minus pi minus that. Okay? And the domains are given here. X is, mod x is less than 1 by root 2. That means this region, this, let's say this is 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2, this region, x is greater than 1 by root 2, this region, and x is less than 1 by root 2, this region. Okay. Now move on to the second one, which is cos inverse. Cos inverse of 2 cos square, 2x square minus 1. Okay. This will be, this have two cases, 2 cos inverse x, of course 2 theta, Okay, we are dealing with cos 2 theta here, which is equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. Okay, if you take cos theta as x, this will be 2x square minus 1. And 2 theta will be cos inverse 2x square minus 1, which is this, 2 theta. Theta is what? Cos theta is x. So, if cos theta is x, theta is cos inverse x in the domain we are talking about. So, 2 theta will be 2 cos inverse x, and we are writing it here. If... 0 to 1, fine, this is the case, then it can be 2 pi minus 2 cos inverse x, okay, if x is between minus 1 and 0, or this is not equals to 0, because we have included it up on the upper side, okay, so this is the domain, minus 1 to 1, and these are the angles, okay, if it is positive, then you will use just the 2 cos inverse x, if it is negative, then you will use 2 pi minus 2 cos inverse x, okay, if x is negative. Third set of property is about 10 inverse x, 10 inverse, ten inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square, okay. This also include three cases. First of all, two, te 2 theta, that will be 2 10 inverse x. We are always taking sin theta, cos theta, 10 theta, cot theta as x. Okay. So, that's why theta will be 10 inverse x or sin inverse x or cos inverse x. So, that's why 2 theta is 2 10 inverse x here. Again, the second case is pi plus 2 10 inverse x. And the 2 10 inverse x will be when mod x is less than 1 in the domain. Okay, less than 1. Remember this. Not less than equals to 1. x is less than minus 1, then this will be the case, and x, x is greater than 1, then this will be the case. We are covering the whole uh, real number line. In this case, you will have minus pi plus 2 10 inverse x. In case of uh, sine inverse x, we had minus pi minus, okay? This can be written as minus pi minus 2 sine inverse x. And this is pi minus 2 sine inverse x. So, minus pi minus 2 sine inverse x. We are just changing the pi and minus pi in this case and hence and we are again using it in 10 inverse x. Okay. So that way you can remember this that pi plus 10 over 10 inverse x and minus pi plus 2 10 inverse x. x is less than minus 1, x is greater than minus 1. In case of sine inverse that was x, this was interchanged. x is greater than 1 by root 2 and this was x is less than minus 1 by root 2. But that's the only difference. Now there is also sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square, 
because sine can be you know sine can be expressed in terms of tan inverse so that's why sine inverse can also be turn uh, can also be you know denoted in tan inverse x so true tan inverse x again 2 theta is this case in this case again mod x is less than equals to 1 why because we are dealing with sine inverse here that's why mod x will be less than equals to 1 again the uh, this is x is less than minus 1 x is greater than 1 for x is less than minus 1 it will be minus pi minus 2 tan inverse x okay and for x is greater than 1 it will be pi minus 2 tan inverse x just the different just you can see the difference okay they are interchanged you can say and just the 2 tan inverse x is negative sign here and it was positive in the upper case it is negative in here x is less than minus 1 x is less than minus 1 it was pi plus 2 tan inverse x but in here it is minus pi minus 2 tan inverse x in this case x is greater than equals to is x is greater than 1 it was minus pi minus 2 tan inverse x minus pi plus 2 tan inverse x in this case x is greater than 1 pi minus 2 tan inverse x so these two can be these two are similar these two are similar okay you can say and these two are similar and these two are similar okay so this is the case again we'll move on to cos inverse x cos inverse x the properties are cos inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square okay because cos theta is 1 minus 10 square theta by 2 or something and 1 plus 10 square theta by 2 or you can say cos 2 theta then this will be theta and this will also be theta so in this way 1 minus x square and 1 plus x square okay cos inverse of that will be there are two again two cases 2 tan inverse x if x is greater than equals to 0 and minus 2 tan inverse x this case is simple because cos and cos all only involves two cases always if x is greater than 0 and if x is less than 0 okay this covers the whole real number line 2, two tan inverse x and minus 2 tan inverse x okay now sixth prop fifth property is tan inverse x this is an important one tan inverse x plus tan inverse y plus tan inverse z that is equals to tan inverse x plus y plus z minus x y z upon 1 minus x y minus y z minus z x this can also be remembered from 10 of you know 10 of theta plus beta plus gamma okay alpha beta gamma or something and you will get the these three the condition for this the constant for this is x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 z is greater than 0 and this term that is x y plus y z plus z x is less than 1 because we are getting the positive results here that's why okay uh, for note you can conclude that um, if you know 10 inverse x plus 10 the lhs 10 inverse y plus 10 inverse z is given to you as pi then if this is given to you as pi then this 10 will come and get this pi and will become will get as 0 so the numerator will be 0 so that will be x plus y plus z is equals to x y z okay so if you are asked that you know 10 inverse like example is 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse 2 plus 10 inverse 1 well this is not let's say this okay or you can say 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 three okay now if this is given to you and this is given as pi okay then you have to calculate x so how will you do it you will just do that x y z x plus y plus z is equals to x y z that is x into 1 by 6 so x minus x by 6 that means 5 x by 6 is equals to minus um, minus 3 plus 2 minus 5 by 6 so x will be minus 1 so this is an exam this is just an example to remember this property okay that numerator is 0 when this is equals to pi or this is equals to 0 okay again if it is equals to pi by 2 then denominator will be 0 okay we can write it also 
second one if uh, you know the LHS which is 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y plus 10 inverse z is pi by 2 this implies the denominator is 0 that means x y plus y z plus z x is 1 so if you are given that 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse half plus 10 inverse 1 by 3 again this one is equals to pi by 2 then you will just apply this condition instead of this condition ok so third property third note you can remember 10 inverse 1 it will be helpful in your exams I have calculated it so you don't have to worry 10 verse 1 plus 10 verse 2 plus 10 verse 3 they just asked 10 verse 2 plus 10 verse 3 what can you say what can you you know calculate about so 10 verse 2 plus 10 verse 3 will be this 10 verse 1 will go this side so 10 verse 1 you all know pi by 4 so 10 verse 2 plus 10 verse 3 will be pi minus pi by 4 that is 3 pi by 4 you can just calculate you can just you know remember it and you can just apply it so this is one property i need you to remember for the jxn another they ask is 10 inverse 1 plus half and 1 by 3 this is equals to pi by 2 okay because you know how is that because xy which is 1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 into 1 that is always equals to 1 okay so that's why this property is satisfied and hence LHS is equals to pi by 2 you can apply this okay so if you are given unnecessary numbers that you can apply this property with then you will just use pi and pi by 2 these two properties okay here you we stop the inverse trigonometry